Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Typically, I don't do early predictions, but it might be something that I start putting out if I'm home, if I'm able to do that. Otherwise, it'll just come when the fights are closer and I have more time. But either way, today I had a little bit more extra time. It was announced today, or this one may have been last night, but there's also another one. Another one that was... Uh, announced, and we'll be talking that one too. Sergey Pavlovich versus Darzina Rosenstrike. Early announcements. So, this one obviously, Johnny Walker versus Bogdan Goskov. I think this is pretty interesting because you have Johnny Walker who exploded onto the scene um, with knocking out Khalil Roundtree and then some other nobodies, really. Um, and then as soon as he fought a decent, not great guy in Corey Anderson, he gets mollywopped. I didn't think you were in here that today, did you? But he's 21 and 9. He's 2 and 2. He's 2, 2, 0 oh, and 1 in his last five fights. 32 years old, 6'6 six, six with an 82.3 inch reach. This is the guy that they were saying was going to give John Jones some problems. Get the fuck out of here. Bogdan Goskov, 16 and 3, 4 and 1 in his last five fights. His last loss. Volkan Uzdemir, uh, uh, but a little over a year ago, rear naked choke. I believe that was in the second round. I believe he was submitted, maybe late first. Yeah, a mid. Yeah, a little past mid. So three forty six, round number one, uh, took him down. I think it was short notice. Not a great performance for Guskov. Got back on track and destroyed Zach Pawanga as he should have, and then just beat the. Piss out of Ryan Spann five months ago. It was a thing of beauty. The way that he keeps his arms real low, again, will cause him some issues later in his career when he fights really, really good guys. Guys that can catch him before he's able to block. You know, and Johnny Walker, something that he still does have is he is still fast. He's still explosive. The problem is, is he can't take a shot anymore. He's been knocked out so many times. He just can't take a shot, you know? And yes, he's fighting decent guys. Like, Uzdemir is nothing really that good. I thought he came back way too soon after getting uh, beat up by Nkolaev. And then he got fl absolutely flatlined against Uzdemir three months ago. So it'll probably be about, it's in January. So what, that's three months. So it'll be like almost seven months. It's not really enough time, I don't think, again, uh... To fight a guy like Guskov, though, though, I imagine Johnny Walker is going to uh, grapple a lot in this one. He's going to shoot for some takedowns. He's going to stay on the outside, use his kicks, try to get uh, uh, Guskov down. I, and I do think he uh, does probably get him down. I, I mean, I think he probably gets him down. He has three submission wins. He's 7 6 and 1. Six finishes in, in his UFC career. One decision. Awful decision against Anthony Smith. You know, again, it's complicated because Guskov keeps his hands down, throws some weird angles, probably catches him. But there is a there is a world where Walker is able to get him down, um, beat him up a little bit. I don't know. Unless he gets his back and he's able to do it early, I don't necessarily see a finish for Johnny Walker. Could he have a crazy knockout with like a flying knee or a freaking head kick KO? Possibly. But I just think Guskov, understanding that Johnny's probably going to try to take him down, you know, use that takedown defense, throw your strikes, use your uppercuts, and just put a lot of pressure on Walker, make him make a mistake, and get him out of there. I think that's what happens. As always, guys, let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in the other one. Peace.